case prep tip for today. Um, we're using a Hornady, Hornady uh, tumbler. Um, pretty nice setup. You can set it for amount of time you want it to set. Hit the start, and it'll run, and it'll shut off. It's not nearly as loud as those other tumblers. Um, but then with these, there's no way to, this is just a uh, rubber washer that expands as you tighten that. So when you take this off, there's no good way to get your shells out of that. So what you use then is a device like this. And those are the shells we put in there yesterday. They're once fired, but they look like they're brand new. One of the uh, things that helps the corn cob medium to work good is, or any other kind, is to put something like this in it. This is by far, I believe, the best that I've ever used. Of, <laughs> I never used any other than the one I've had all my life. I bought from a guy when I started reloading. It was a huge bottle and it was old and I don't even think they make that brand anymore. But this is pretty cool. So this goes together like this. And then there's a pin. Pin that slides through there. And then you just... Run it like that, and um, pretty quickly all the stuff drops down, and just open up like that and take out your casings. It's always good to just make sure that you take each one and do that. Helps to make sure there's nothing in there, and then when you do prime it, um, there you go. When you take the primer out, then that depriming tool goes down through there and takes out any extra. And it's always good to shake them all along the way just to make sure that there's nothing in there. Um, you could put them back in the tumbler after you... I like to clean them first before I run them in my dies. Um, that polisher uh, really cleans them up nice, makes them slippery or ready, and then you put a little bit of one shot. You can use different kinds of case lube. You can just lay them out in a paper towel and spray them. And typically they'll go right up in a, without much problem. As long as you keep your dyes clean. If your dyes start getting dirty, it takes more and more lubrication when you're full length resizing them. So those are the 30 Winchester short mags that, that um, we were doing the case prep on that machine on the last video. Looking good.